I wanted to share with you the imagery sizing app that I recently purchased. I purchased a couple of them, but I'm going to talk about imagery size right now. So you open up the app, you select a photo. Let's just take this one here. And you click choose to make sure it gets to the de desktop. Up here, you'll see what the current size is. And here you'll see what the current, um, how large the file is. But if I select what, if I were to reduce it to this width and height, that would be the new size of the file, but that's not what I'm going to do. But you can use select from one of these already um, default settings. And I think I'm gonna use one of those. So what you do is just select the setting. And if you're happy with that size, download it and what it does is it saves the image next to the original so it saves a copy you can go into settings if you'd like and have it delete the original image and just replace it with the new resized one uh, another thing I noticed they also have here also saved to album I had that enabled at one point and I didn't understand what it meant but what it does is it creates an album for every size image that you make. So if I change this size to say, I don't know, 800, and you'll notice because I have it linked here, I change it to 800, it automatically adjusts the height. So if I were to save that, I'd now have a new album with that particular dimension. So I disabled that because there were just too many different albums on there. The setting, these, uh, you can do some editing here too because they give you all these options. You got text, sticker, emoticons, which I happen to like. Emoticons, um, they're just fun. And of course, then you click okay to, to keep it. And then the stickers, I think, they're also kind of cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a sticker here. I don't know, let's take some eyeglasses, sunglasses and stick them on the side of the flower. Um, yeah, do I need that? No, but do I like it? Yeah, it's fun to play with. So once you're done, you can save it by downloading it. And again, here I go, another image. It saved successfully. I could preview it. I'm gonna long press on the image to preview, but we already know what it looks like. And if I wanted to copy or close, there we go. You do have options of pixels. I haven't played around with too much of this because I didn't need to, but if you get the app, you can. You can take a photo and here you can change what the desktop looks like. Suppose I want it green, which I don't, but that, you know, it's there. You can print, email, share, and of course, download. You saw how we did that. And that's pretty much it. This app is free to download from the App Store, but it comes with extremely annoying ads. So I ended up paying for the ad-free version. The ad-free version cost me $11.99. After finding a few other apps, I don't think that this is worth $11.99, but I already have it, so I might as well make the best of it.